his worst fears may be confirmed when the army locates John Boy. <laughs> News I have can't be given over the phone. On the Waltons. Next on Hawaii 5 0, a young woman is tormented. Nobody. Give me no calls. In a devious plot to drive her insane. Then, Barnaby spots a dead man wanted for murder. Barnaby Jones is our only problem. And he's the next target on Barnaby Jones. Exciting action Thursday. Good evening from CBS News. This is Newsbreak. Iran slammed the door shut on President Carter's negotiating team today. They were told that the Ayatollah Khomeini would not negotiate with them, that they would not be allowed to visit Iran unless the U.S. shipped the Shah back. So the situation remains the same for those Americans being held hostage in the U.S. Embassy in Tehran. Apparently, the oil from Iran is flowing. There's some question now whether it was or wasn't halted yesterday. Today, Iran indicated it will continue to sell oil to the U.S., at least for the time being. If it doesn't, if the tap is turned off, the White House says it's ready, ready with a gasoline conservation plan. Rationing, though, is not envisioned. It's official, Senator Kennedy announcing today that he's a candidate for president. Tomorrow, California Governor Jerry Brown will say, me too. Pennsylvania Congressman Daniel Flood, who has trouble with the law and trouble with his health, resigned from the Congress today. The VA says it will set up some 35 job centers around the country to help veterans who are out of work and out of luck.